Hi guys, it is the morning of December 15th. We are on the way down here to some public land to meet up with Jake and some of his buddies. Uh, do a little shotgun hunt this morning. Um, we took the day off yesterday and got my muzzleloader sighted in. Uh, Bushnell actually has this new app uh, called their Ballistics app that kind of gives you um, all these options to put in uh, whatever ammo you're using and it'll kind of punch out um, what your holdovers are. Um, so it's really kind of a cool, cool app uh, that can help you sight in your gun real quick. So um, we got mine dialed in yesterday. We're shooting good. Took the afternoon hunt off yesterday and uh, we're back here this morning so looking forward to it we pushed with these guys on some public land earlier in the week uh, just didn't get anything done so uh, looking forward to it should be fun um, it's always a good time hunting with these boys so we're going to see what happens here I've got a doe tag I know Jake's buddies have two buck tags between two or three buck tags between those guys so um, hopefully we can get a buck for one of these guys if not I think we will be sitting somewhere this afternoon I'm not real sure yet so should be a fun morning Where do you go? Going in here. Buck coming! Oh, smoked him. Smoked him. <laughs> huh? It's a little wild. excitement for us. We were just kind of sitting here waiting. We sent Riley up top along the property line. And me and Hunter are up on this ridge and Jake and his brother are down there. <laughs> and we just kind of held back because we knew that we figured these deer would circle around. And Hunter was just sitting there saying, deer right here, right here. And the buck, he was kind of coming at us and then worked right down. So we ran this way and kind of cut him off. And he ran right down to Jake and his brother and like they cut him down. I suppose we'll buzz down there and see what we got. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. When did you guys see him? Really? Because like we thought you saw him coming down and I was like, we saw him coming. We were just sitting up there and he, he was like coming at us and then like I thought he was gonna keep going that way, so I started. So I I started taking off, and he kind of like turned, and then like right before that, I was like, "Fuck, come on!" <laughs> That's freaking awesome. That's all bold. <laughs> he got it, like coming down too. Like it should be pretty good. <laughs> well, if you look at him, he's right here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we saw this, we figured we had to. <laughs> no, there we go. Yeah. A lot of character on him, Jimmy. A lot of character. <laughs> you want to get... Just that whole, like, process was worth <laughs> that. Like, that was so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> like, it was perfect. You came too close. Mm hmm Came into town, get a little bite to eat. I decided to get Hunter his buck tag. And we're headed to the town farm. Hopefully kill that white ape tonight, so. Oh. Oh. Boy got his Iowa buck tag. Hopefully we're gonna punch that thing tonight. Hoping so. This deer's been showing up pretty regular for us uh, in this little bottom 
uh, big and beastie food plot we planted back in the summer so we got a fairly strong uh, east wind tonight which is actually perfect for that food plot we'll set up about 80 yards to the north of where we've been getting pictures of him and kind of look down over into that bottom um, that way we don't have to be right down in there with them we can you know kind of stay back with that muzzle loader so we got her dialed in yesterday it should be shooting good and uh, hopefully we can put down this wide eight this afternoon Walking down here, just about to pop up over the plot, coming in the back door. Ton of tracks in here, definitely been in here from this morning or last night, but it's a good sign. deer coming. Give me that cedar branch before it gets out here. Slide it back. Keep it low. Keep going. Coming out of the corner. Left corner. corner. Alright, well we just got set up. About had a man down on the way in. I took a limb right to the eye, went down. <laughs> Didn't know if I was gonna lose my contact, but anyway, we crawled up in here and literally just got set up. And we've got six does already out here in this bottom. I'm just praying that we get by them for the next hour. Not unless, you know, big boy comes out before then, but they're just down here feeding. So it's a good sign. I mean, it's a little bit after three right now. Hunter set up in front of me. I can see probably a little bit more than he can, but we gotta take what we can get. Or set up right above this food plot and expect the deer to come from, you know, back there towards the highway. That's all the best bedding around here. So it's exactly what they're doing. Our wind's basically hitting us right in the face, kind of going over my right shoulder, which is perfect. So we should be in the chips tonight, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Kind of posturing up to each other. I think it's that half rack deer.
as you guys saw we had a heck of a night down in there in the little food plot and um not real sure what our plan is for the morning the wind's supposed to switch out of the straight north and be straight north in the morning and then uh north northwest tomorrow afternoon so that doesn't really set up well at all for that for that little food plot but um <laughs> i was kind of amazed on how many deer we saw um it's kind of just set up as a little staging area as they come out of their bedding you know they mill around in there and they're milling around in there all i mean for probably two and a half hours since we got in there and then they kind of just work their way up and i think they feed feed in these ag fields that are you know across the road and within a mile or two every night and probably come right back in here but that's kind of our thought with hunting that bottom is catching them before they come out and i was amazed on how we didn't get spotted or blown at or anything our wind was absolutely perfect in there um so we kind of need like a southerly wind or an east wind um that's kind of what we're looking for to be able to hunt that um, we may be able to hunt like a north northwest and sit up on top of the hill where all the deer eventually got to um, that would be an option it just kind of depends on if we want to push the limits or not with that wind but awesome day overall we had an awesome day this morning with jake and the boys on uh, some public land and good way to end the night tonight our shooter didn't show up but that's a good sign with uh how many deer in there in there because there's really not been that all that many deer in here all season we've ran cameras and really haven't been picking up anything until just the last couple of weeks so um like i said we haven't touched this farm i haven't hunted this farm all season so I think with the shotgun seasons and everybody out pushing and running different timbers and stuff, the deer kind of get sucked into here just because there's no pressure. So awesome sit. Looking forward to uh, what the rest of the week brings.